In previous videos, we saw how to start creating a custom connector in Octo Workflows Connector Builder, how to create some basic settings, and how to configure the authentication for your connector based off the authentication requirements for your remote resource. In this case, we're looking at one with OAuth 2. The next step would be to build out the flows for your connector. The first one we'd create is a helper flow called HTTP Helper. The HTTP Helper flow allows you to build out the logic to make a connection to your remote resource in one flow and then make use of that flow within all of your other flows. So that way you don't have to build out the same logic over and over again. And if a change needs to be made, say, you know, a version upgrade for your API endpoint, you only have to make that change in one place. And you can see our flow starts off with a helper flow card and ultimately we'll call an HTTP raw request card. This is what's used to actually connect, pass data, and get responses back from our remote endpoint. On this HTTP raw request card, we can see some required input, the URL, the request method, as well as the headers, query, and body. In order to be able to provide those, we've added some input fields on our helper flow card at the beginning. So relative URL field, request method, query, headers, and body. So that way, any flow that calls this helper flow can provide those and pass those in. We also see we have our authentication object, which has some information as well. So in this case with OAuth 2, we have the access token. If this was a basic authentication, we could grab things like the username and password here. We build out the authorization header using that information, as well as a URL using the relative URL field, so we can call the different API endpoints and pass all of those into our HTTP raw request card. The output of that, status code, headers, and body, we can pass back using the return card and those would be available in any flow that calls this. So let's take a quick look at how this helper flow might be used. Take a look at one of our action flows. We can see we use the flow control call flow card to call our HTTP helper flow. And then we provide whatever inputs required here, like in this case, slash requests, the get method. And in this case, I'm passing in a query object. And from that, we get the output status code headers and body. And we're just taking the body and returning that back to our action flow. 